Well, SK, huge fight impending. Um, what a fantastic fight we were, uh, we've obviously got on Saturday, September the 10th for the title. Last time out, you said you were going to do a demolition job and earn your shot at that title. And you certainly did that against uh, Ronnie Washington Gunn. But obviously, you're here with your, uh, your coach, Shaq Day. Um, first and foremost, it's obviously been a little bit of time since the dust has settled from the last fight. But how have you been and, and how's training? Yeah, man, just staying in the gym, man, really. So um, obviously, the fight last time against Ronnie, good fighter, um, good opponent. But I um, listened to the game plan from Shaq and Gav all camp, and obviously, it worked in the fight. So I'm um, fair play to him. But yeah, I've been training, staying in the gym, listening to my coaches, Shaq and Gav since day one, and yeah, man, we're feeling ready to go. Fantastic. Now, we spoke a little bit off camera, but like I say, I want to talk about a little bit about the journey, because from you stepping in to this gym, you know, I know that you said, well, I asked you, I said, you know, how, how, did, how did the boxing thing come about? Because obviously you're, you're involved with SE Dons, you know, the, the YouTube, the sort of uh, scenes as, a, as an influencer, but... Talk us through a little bit of what you, you spoke off camera about how the journey started for you here at 2UA. Well, man, it was through, obviously through lockdown, you know. Um, I was doing football, you know, about the Dons, playing on Sundays. And I thought, you know what, well, I seen the Don, um, TUA on Instagram. I said, what type of gym is that? So obviously I messaged them on Instagram. And obviously I said, oh, can I come down to the gym? Obviously lockdown wasn't really doing much. Wasn't probably the greatest mindset, really. So I came down to the gym and wow, like, it's changed my life. First day I stepped in this gym, I just, this is where I belong. The people in it, in it was, were proper. You got Gab Shack since day one. They taught me everything, man. So almost a year ago from now, it's when I first ever stepped in the gym. You know, so yeah. it's only a year. You know, so yeah, every, yeah. Every, everything that Shack and Gab has taught me from a year on now, it's like anything's possible for anyone. You know what I mean? That's what this journey's really about for me. You know, obviously belts are good, money's good, all that stuff's good, but it's more about inspiring others. You know, or I've got, I've got a post on my wall like saying you're going to inspire people around the world. You know what I mean? That's my that's my message to the world. And through, through Gavin Shaq, it's going to be possible. Without, without Gavin Shaq, none of this will be possible for me. So going into this fight now, I'm supremely confident. The training's been tough. We've got good sparring as well, you know. I've just literally finished training now, you know, by the second, first of the day. Mm. So we're, we're ready to go. We're ready, we're raring to go four weeks out, so. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, I'll come to Shaq and say, as a coach, I mean, I speak to boxers day in, day out. I speak to coaches and, you know, and you, you talk about how the preparation's going, how dedicated they are, but... I think you've got somebody in SK that, as a coach, you know, you've obviously got boxers, you train fighters, yeah. but somebody who's really absorbed everything, who's taken it on board, who's really dedicated themselves to the cause. I mean, as a coach, how have you seen the development from the day he stepped through the ropes to now fighting for his first title? So, like, it's untold, it's unreal. It's like, from day one to now, we're, it's a different animal completely, but it's only because he's... Learn, he teaches so well, he learned it, learned everything he can. He wants to be in the gym all the time, makes it even easier. He's a bit of a gym rat, you call it, just in there all the time, learning, listening, watching pros, doing everything he can to better himself. So him doing that just makes it easier for us to train him. When someone's dedicated to the craft, it makes teaching the craft so much easier because they've already got the fitness behind it to make the teaching days easier. Because when you're fit, you can teach more. When you're unfit, it's hard to teach. But he just wants to do everything right and put every, leave no stone unturned, so that's what he's doing. Yeah, and it must be obviously really rewarding for yourself, for Gavin, to, to have a, a pupil, have a, have a student who, who takes it on board. Because so it must be, like I say, with any, any teacher sort of um, role, whether it's sort of you're teaching boxing or, or anything, any discipline, you know, when you've got students that don't listen or don't absorb right. it or don't put the effort in and you can see the talent, but you've kind of got somebody who's literally taken everything that you've sort of given and he's put it into practice obviously his first fight against um, Lewis Brooks a fantastic fight on the K2 Arena show in March obviously next time out against Marcus Stevenson a, a great performance and then last time out the demolition job that sort of SK promised against Ronnie Washington Gunn so you've kind of seen the hard work the sweat the sort yeah, of the, the tears the blood fight, yeah. all in the gym and then it all come together on fight night and produce the results that obviously the hard work's um, been put in for. 100%, yeah, just every single fight you can see the growth and that's the whole thing, it's a learning. Even when you win, you still got to learn from what you've won from. So he just keeps learning every step, every time we get back in the ring, it's something a little better. So every time you get in, you see a little bit more and this will be the next thing in the next fight, you see a little bit more again. And this is what you need to win titles and that consistency is key. And that's, it's exactly how it's improving because he's staying consistent, staying in the gym, staying fighting. Mm. I'll come back to you, SK. So, like I say, 
For this fight, uh, you're fighting Harvey Van Cleef. It's for the novice, um, the vacant novice middleweight title. As I say, last time out, we got to see the power, we got to see the explosiveness. We saw that um, in glimpses in your first fight against uh, Lewis Brooks. But talk us through a little bit about the preparation, because like I say, this is, this is the biggest fight of your career. I mean, four fights, or you've had sort of um, three fights in quest, one outside of them, all wins. Your, your progression, you can see the improvements, but talk us through a little bit about the preparation so far, but also a little bit about the mindset and, and how focused you are on this, uh, this task. Well, for me, obviously, since getting into boxing, I've had to deal with the pressure from day one. You know, we've got, we've got the following we've got at the Don, the following at T-Way. People want me to lose. People want me to lose. So I've got that pressure from day one. So all this training, all those playing on Sundays, being on YouTube every single week, I've had to deal with the pressure. And pressure, I love it. I love pressure. You know that already. Mm. So in my first fight, away in Crawley, everyone's booing me coming in. I love it. I'm the first man I stand in the ring ready to fight. You know, so the, the mentals from the mental side of the game, the pressures, I've dealt with that perfectly fine. I'm ready to go. And I because of the hard work we do in the gym, because of the strain that Gavin and Shaq put me in every single day. Like, people think it's the gimmick most of the time. They think, oh, he plays YouTube, he plays football, blah, 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 blah. But when they get there in the ring with me, it's a completely different story. And you can ask all my last opponents, they'll, they'll say the same thing. So, I'm looking, I'm, this camp, we've trained meticulously and we've got our game plan ready. We're ready to go. And um, just, just be prepared to expect something different this time. Because, Everyone thinks that I'm going to just come in and do the exact same thing as last time at every fight. And something always new that shows up. So mm. be prepared to obviously see that. Um, with the coaching of Gav, Shaq, you've got Mickey, you've got so many people down here which I'm learning from and I'm listening, you know. Mm. Forget about the wins, I'm still in a novice. I'm fighting for the novice title here. So my mindset's a novice. I'm a student from day one, you know. So I'm, I'm ready, I'm raring to go. Um, in the gym, we've got everything prepared. And September 10th, we're going to see a new and a previous go. Mm. I'll come back to you, Shaq, because as a coach, sometimes you've got the fighters who will who'll study the opponent, who will look at the opponent, um, and they'll do a lot of sort of um, research themselves, yeah. and then the coach will formulate the plan and he'll look at it. You've got other fighters who say, listen, I don't, I don't really care about the opponent. I don't care what he does. It's all about what I need to do and what my coach tells me to do. So when you're planning and formulating and you're looking at the, the next opponent, you know, who, who SK is going to be boxing. In this case, obviously, you've, uh, we saw Harvey Van Cleef last time out uh, on the May show, which was the same show that um, you boxed Marcus Stevenson. And he had a great performance against uh, Charlie Harford. But as a coach, is it purely down to you and Gavin to formulate? Or, or is it sort of, do you, do you all sit down and look at the opponent? Um, also, Gavin does the sitting down and that sort of stuff, because I, I mainly do the conditioning, keeping out and sparring. But Gav will formulate the stuff and do one-to-ones -one with S and make sure that he does everything correctly that he needs to. And then we try and pull it off all in the sparring. So when it comes to that stuff, Gav sits down and watches and does everything he needs to do to make sure that when we come into the fight, we're prepared. But on the night, things sometimes change. So it's not just plan A that we can go with. We've also got plan B and plan C. So it's not, we're not really worried really in any department. We've got everything covered. Mm, yeah. So we're good. That's good. And I know that uh, you said preparation-wise, You've been getting some great sparring in with sort of uh, with some you know top amateurs, uh, pros. You, you've really been, you know, putting yourself, whether it's inside or outside your comfort zone. You've been you know you've been covering all all bases, ticking all the boxes. But at this stage of the fight camp, obviously we've got um, just over three weeks to go until fight night. But physically, mentally, I mean, how how good are you feeling? This is the best I felt. I know it's a bit of a cliche. Everyone says, oh, this is the best camp. They say this is the best I felt. I'm going in there, no excuses. I'm going in there ready to go. You know what I mean? You, you're watching my fights. There's no real feel, feel out process and stuff. I go in to go and win. You know what I mean? And look, I'm looking forward to showing the fans a new style, a new, a new um, approach to this fight, and also same, same, exact same result. Mm. So September 10th, you'll be in a new novice champion. Looking forward to it. Um, let's touch on Harvey Van Cleef, because obviously he is the man who'll be standing in the opposite corner, who'll be contesting the title uh, with you. What, what do you know about him and you know, how do you rate him as an opponent? Well, first of all, I respect all my opponents. You know, to get in a ring against anyone is big respect. You know? so, um, but yeah, I've spoken with Gav, we've got a game plan for him. Um, we've had a game plan for his style many times. You know what I mean? So we're looking forward to obviously putting that into play come fight night. And yeah, this is another opponent for me. You know? Like I always say, just line him up and I'll go again. 
and the uh, and obviously your, your teammates uh, se dons and uh, as i said no i i watch the um the stuff on social media and i have to say i was almost sitting there with my popcorn <laughs> watching the sort of uh, his fans and your fans going back and forward i was going oh this is getting this is tasty i like i like this because you, you do get it from time to time where you get sort of um, the fans getting involved and, and obviously at the end of the day, it's great to get that interaction and those opinions, but ultimately the only two people that put the gloves on and actually throw, throw down are the fighters themselves. So the fans have had their say and you've got great support from yourself and obviously from, uh, from Van Cleef's fans, but you know, ultimately, how does the support from your side of things play into this? I mean, what's it like when you come out and you've got your teammates and you've got the sort of the people that follow SE Dons now getting on the sort of SK journey within the boxing. It's amazing, you know what I mean? It's a different kind of pressure when, when, you, when, you fight, when you fight against me, you know, because I've got everyone with me. I've got the, all the support of the Dons, all the support of TUA. It's a different kind of pressure. And all these boys, they're, they're boxed probably longer than I have, but they've never experienced the pressure that I have. So when they come to fight me, it's a different ball game, you know? So, but yeah, I look forward to showing my support right and proving his support wrong. You know what I mean? So and we've put all the work and we're ready, ready to go. And his fans and him himself, they're going to be under pressure because they're, they're, they've got a crowd roaring across the ring and, and thinking, ah, oh, who are these lot and why do they think they're better than everyone? That's the main thing. We come and do our thing. We show up on the night, we blow up, you know, we leave. You know what I mean? Well, I'm looking forward. As I say, when this fight was announced, when this fight was agreed, I sort of looked at it on paper. I watched your fights, your previous contests. I watched Van Cleef's previous fight and I just thought, sometimes it doesn't have to be the main event to steal the show. And I think this fight has got, you know, all the ingredients to be an absolute barnstormer on fight night. So final thoughts. I mean, I know that, um, like I say, with every interview that I do, I know that as soon as we post this, your fans are going to watch it. His fans are going to watch it. And obviously, ultimately, Harvey Van Cleef will be watching it. So final words, any messages? See you September 10th. That's it.